Hey, it's me again. Apparently I'm not supposed to say someone requested a short because I'm apparently just supposed to pretend that my life is all spontaneous. So, here's another short that no one asked me to do. Um, I'm going to show how I got these uh, beds plumbed in now. Let me flip the... Uh, there it is. All right. So, if you look down here in the sump, you can see that's a Tetra brand 550 gallon per hour pump. It's a pond pump, mountain pump, whatever. And it's connected to a T off to that side. See all the bubbles coming out? That's called a Venturi. I bought that back in 2017, never got to use it, but now I finally have a use for it. So I put it on here for two purposes, to oxygenate the water and to create a circular motion in the sump so that it acts like a swirl filter. It's a lot easier to tell when those things need to be you know when sumps need to be cleaned out when you can see how deep your sediment is and if it piles up in the middle that makes it easier for me to see and there you can see the water coming in and the overflow line going out so that water line that tube comes up up here goes to a T and there's two different valves for each bed so you can control the flow rate. And as you can see, there's where it comes out. I'll let you see what the flow rate is. It's actually fairly minimal. That's all that's coming out of it. So the beds don't uh, require a massive amount of water to make them flow. And then down in there, that's the bell siphon. I'm gonna pull this out really quick. I had a guy ask me about that uh, siphon brake. If you want to use it, you can file that off. I use a bench grinder. That's what I would use. Uh, pull it up higher. So it will actually start slowing down your siphon when you get to the end. It's not necessary. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. As you can see, I'm not. Um, Mine is even with the bottom slices in the bell siphon, so, and it breaks reliably every time. So anyway, just figured I would show that while I'm under this three minute limit. And people wanted to see what else I got in here. Okay, so there's my wicking beds. They go all the way down. There's 12 of them. And then my G towers, which I've cut those down to four for a reason. I'll get to that later. We'll catch you next time. Bye.